Football Unknown. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of the Football Unknown Podcast. This is episode 45, man, and we're bringing Giacomo back for a part two, guys. So Thank you guys. if you haven't checked um, the first uh, part, the first episode, please go check it out. And then we're going to get right into it. So this time it's going to be a little different right we're not just we're not just covering your your entire journey but we're diving a little deeper into your journey and then you said that you also have some insights that, that you want to share yeah so everyone you know should, should know who you are by now so you know you don't, you don't really have to introduce yourself this time but just give us like a brief introduction on what exactly you want to touch on in this interview and then we'll just dri- dive right into it well first of all like i mean Hi to everybody. I'm happy to be back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, in the previous episode, we saw kind of like what was my story. Like I've, I've been playing soccer for 22 years, um, played in five different colleges, got like a, a lot of money, I'd say, in scholarship. That's why, you know, I kind of like we're going to touch today. Mm-hmm. Uh, play semi-pro now, uh, enjoying kind of like my my life as a semi-pro player. Uh, I'm still a student I'm doing my master's. So like I've I really experienced the whole kind of like college career outside of the field, yep. inside of the field. Yep. I played in Switzerland, Europe, UK, Italy. So I really feel like I had like so many cultures, you know, in my game. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, I'm, I'm opening my American channel. And uh, the first video is going to be kind of like a presentation with tons of insights. Okay. Um, and talking and recording that video, talking with other people like Americans that like, you know, I just signed college, you know, or are about to sign college. I really understood how... You know, I kind of like understood the dynamics um, of this game, scholarship game or whatever, mm-hmm. um, pretty early. And that saved me a ton of money that I would have had to pay. So I feel like um, the video is going to be very informative. And, you know, today we're going to touch a little Absolutely. bit uh, on it. Absolutely. So before we, we uh, talk about, you know, the American side, I wanted to cover, you know, um, th- this one. This one would be geared towards more of the international players because... Before you came to the U.S., right, you, you were first learning how to navigate the European system, right, the, the Italian system, and then you moved to, to Switzerland, right, to, to play for that club. So talk to me about when, when did you first, you know, started to become aware of the, the way to navigate through the European system? Already, like, from Italy, I, I'm from Milan, already from Italy to, like, Switzerland, but I was in the Italian Switzerland, so we're talking about literally 55 minutes of drive. It was it was a different culture, like different different style. I th- I'd say the style a little bit similar because the coaches are Italian, of course. But I, I mean, I fell in love with the Switzerland team. Whenever like I remember, we are we had like a practice. The fields there are like Barcelona level. Yep. Like I'm wow. not even kidding. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the best things of Switzerland. You have the mountains, amazing views. Uh, but I remember like we had I think like a slide tackle, so like the pitch was a little bit ruined. Okay. And I remember like the next day the uh, gardener was there like hey Cr- we clean have to- it up and fix it up yeah. again. Yeah. So now I heard like that team, of course, I think it went down in the league. So less money, less people. But yep. in my times, I was like. I feel like a pro and yeah. it's not a pro. Like it, it was a good uh, youth academy, like amazing youth academy. And you know, I, I literally have all of their numbers still, like which is important. Like, you know, I speak with Absolutely. them. That's that's what it's all about. And yep. we kinda touched the last episode. But yep. um, you know, it was it was I feel like I was really scared of kind of understand, like, you know, I had all these expectations for the States yep. as a ward. Okay. Uh, but I had no idea about the soccer. Like, you know, everybody was like, oh, like, you know, it's not the best to go. And stuff. But they had told me the same thing for Switzerland. You know, yep. they're like, yep. why did you go to Switzerland? They play hockey there. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Really? Is hockey one of the... Hockey's big there, yeah. It's big in... Very big, yeah. So, like, people were like, what do you do Saturday night? I go watch hockey. No so, way, man. Which, I mean, you guys have as well, because in Italy, we don't really have hockey. Yeah. So, Americans have that yeah, as well. Americans, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I I'd say that like since I was like young, I was sixteen, seventeen. I I feel like my brain started to understand ad- adapt to adapt, you know. Um, and of course, when you go from Milan to Switzerland to Missouri, yep. like in in the, the span of three years, like it's a big change at Absolutely. nineteen years old, you know. So it's um it's it's a process. It's yep. a process for yep. sure. So. How did you, when did you start even thinking about, you know, moving to the to the States? And when did the States become an option for you? Like the U.S. become an option? For, for sure, you? yeah. I was, um, I was enjoying my youth, you know, like my youth year. We won two championships. So I'd say like on, on paper, it was the best. And I was top scorer. Uh, me and the coach had an amazing uh, relationship, which, like I said, is one of the best feelings. Um, and, and then it's very I, critical in your in, in your oh, in your journey as well. I, I mean, especially, especially I'd say like critical because it was my last year before when you're supposed to go on the first team. Okay. So if you if you like do bad there, then you're like, wow, I, I you know I missed my opportunity. Yep. And um, you know I was doing good. I was training basically with the youth team and then the first team as well. Mm-hmm. So I was there, like you know. 
uh, upper runner um, to be on the first team and really become like a, an adult. Yep. Um, yep. And then, yeah, I mean, they just, uh, you know, some stuff happened, uh, you know, with decisions from the team. Mm hmm from the first team and they went with other people. Yep. And of course it was very hurtful for me. Yep. Um, and that's another, you know, like another thing, like sometimes I am like, oh, like I, I like to analyze myself a lot, right? I think it's very important. I think every and player should do yeah, that, you know, every player should do very that. Very important. And I think like sometimes like, oh, that I was weak there, I was emotional there. But at the same time, like if I look back, I really can see that I was very resilient, you know, like mm. um, I feel like a lot of people there, I don't know if they would have maybe gave up, but they would be like, oh, wow, like no, that, Yep. You know, that, that didn't work. But for me, it was like, okay, like, I didn't make it pro. I uh, didn't make it, like, in the first team. Yep. Uh, what's my next opportunity? And so I was just, like, playing and stuff. And then I got, like, a, a call from a friend of mine that, like, was uh, was an agent. Okay. And he was like, look, I, I know that some colleges are looking for some players. And I, I, didn't, I had no idea about, like, all these colleges. I was like, what do you mean? Like, I want to play just, yeah. like, in a club. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, honestly, I was, I didn't have many options. Um, like, happened a lot in my career. And so I was like, you know, let's let's just go explore. And after the first tryout, there were some American coaches there, and um, yeah, one of them stopped me, and he was like, uh, like we are interested in you if you wanna if you wanna kind of like start talking. And then you know that that took nine months, you know, because I had to do all, all the like nine month period exams, you know, all the papers, and and then I ended up in Missouri. So you mentioned a tryout. Was a tryout? Did you ha did you have to travel to the states for the tryout, or was it still in Italy? No, the, 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 the coaches were in Italy, which is something that ah, now they do every year. So really, um, yeah, they've been doing it since 2017, I think. Interesting. Uh, so I feel like some. I think at the, at the start was like eight, nine coaches. Now now they arrive at 25. So really, like there's like, I think the last time that I was that I was there, uh, there was GCU, there was like uh, Missouri State, so like big schools like yep. I mean, Missouri State. Yep. People talk about Missouri like as a place, but it's one of the best programs in Absolutely. soccer. You know, okay. like I, I'd sign there right away. Yep. But uh, yeah, my in my time, I think 2018, there were like eight or nine coaches. Mm -hmm. And plus, you know, you have then the, like, they record you, they record the old tryout. Yep. You have these big, like 58 crazy numbers to be like, kind of like uh, Nike scouting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they're like, 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 I want 39. Can I speak with 39? And then they put you in contact. So uh, that's how I was, I was like founded. Like one of my, Teammates, we went two. We're like two people from Switzerland that I was playing. Yep. And one guy, like he was there, and the coach was like, "Can you want to come to the to the states in two months?" Oh wow. Uh, so it was the summer. He wanted him for fall. Yeah. And, and this guy to do like all the exams in two months, crazy. And then really, so he yeah. must have, he must have put it off in two months. Two months, and he went. Interesting. So is it more like the D, the high Division One level coaches, or that that comes down to Italy? There's a, or there's, is a mix of, of there's a lot I, and, and I appreciate that because I think like I mean it's a, like the last time that I was like I speak I spoke a lot with Missouri State actually I, I mean it was hard to see but um, I, it was like me they mean they had my other teammate and then there were like other two good players right um, and so I'd say like this guy we're gonna call it player one and player two okay. that one was my teammate yep. uh, this player one like I, I was honestly like fascinated by him was like this is so good like he, he played in Turin in all these yep, like Turin, so yeah, yeah. that's first division like yep. academy yep uh, and it was like wow he's good so basically like, I was like wow like he's he's kind of like outshining me you know and like <laughs> down but same, we same position or uh yeah I mean kind of like in in that tryout I really like I uh, the coaches really saw also like my um adapting like uh, skills like I was like okay. number 10 number 8 uh, number 6 you know okay. and I like to play it like you yeah, can being really versatile with it yeah okay. you can really put me um, everywhere but this guy was like such a good winger so he was the winger right yep. uh, I was playing the winger in those level but I was like I mean okay I'll play somewhere else yep. like uh, you yep. know that that humbleness yep. it was very good like I wow. even remember now um, and so yeah like uh, and as soon as that, the you know that tryout ends Missouri State starts talking with him so I was like you know I knew it like yeah. I, I think I always had even right now, when we play teams, I can observe, and yep. I'm like, that's the best player. Yep. That's the weak player, yep. you know? And you can just see, like, by the skill, by the attitude, it's like, okay, this guy like lived eight years in a good academy. I know how he kind of, like, uh, uh, behaving. Yep. But what was hurtful was that, you know, after two years, I went to the, back to Italy. I was just, like, in the summer, and they was having another trial, so I just went there to say hi. Mm -hmm. And the Missouri State guy was there, and he told me, like, I was actually undecided between you and him. But then I, I ended up, Taking, taking this guy, his name is Nicolo. Nicolo yeah. And he was like, if Nicolo wasn't there, I would have received a, a scholarship from Missouri State. Yep. And that would have been, I think, amazing. You know? Interesting. So, so when did, so, okay, so during that, that uh, camp or a tryout, what school was interested in you? Yeah, and, so and CMU is the one, CMU uh, is a NIA in Missouri. Yep. We actually like won the national championship. So now 
should become a famous. At that time, their best position was 12, okay. uh, ranked 12 in the nation. Yep. Never won, like, I think, anything. Yep. I, I don't even know if they won the conference before. Yep. Um, so it was like, you know, like Missouri. I was just excited. On I was excited to play. I think I told you the last time is like, if a school in Alaska would have <laughs> called me, I, I, I'm gone. down. Like, I, I'm honestly down. Yep. Um, so, so talk to me about the, about the process, right? About the, all the things that you had to do leading up to that point. Yeah. So I played in the tryout. Okay. Uh, they stopped me right away. They, they were stopping, I feel like, I don't know, I want to say the best players, but maybe the one that they knew they could have helped with, like Nicolò, all these players, right? They stopped and they're like, you, you played good. Like, I think you have opportunity. Yep. Uh, and I was very rigid about, like, I'm not going to spend. And, like, I want a full scholarship. My family is not rich. And yep. if it's not a full scholarship, it has to be right there. Yep. So uh, they stopped me, you know, meeting one-on-one right away. I was like, okay. Like, I, I, I had no, I mean, it's not that I don't have any passion. There were people there that they were, like, praying, you know, like, to be like, I want to go. Which is, I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here, you know, but I, I, I'll just play. Mm -hmm. um, so after that, they were like, okay, let's start like put you in, in the schedule to be ready to go. Okay. So I've done TOEFL and SAT, uh, like did very good in both of yeah, them. Okay. Uh, you know, it was very tough because like you have, to, you have to prepare, like I did good, but I had to prepare like, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's like listening, like four hours exam. My really? Head, yeah, it's four or five hours TOEFL. So you go in this classroom with like 30 other people yeah. and you have kind of these cabinets, yep. you have your speakers and then you have like a Two, two hours and a half of just like reading and understanding, you know, okay. like, um, you know, what's the right answer? And then like you have, uh, what's the good part of the story that can connect to what, like it was really? like comprehension, comprehension. Oh, comprehension. comprehension. Okay. comprehension. Okay. Okay. And then you have the rest, which is like, I think two hours, which is like speaking, like uh, yeah, Marcus uh, said to the dog that he was not okay today. What did Marcus say? You know, like, and, <laughs> all, and if, yeah, it's like, it's okay. like and then it goes like more and more complex. Yep. Like yep. people fail. Um, so it was like, I mean, after four hours, my brain was like, burning, yeah. you know, do you, do you know why they, they, like, they, like you have to take that test? Well, you know? yeah, that's, that's, that's what says like, is, is, he has the basic or advanced capabilities to come in the state. So it's the government actually that requires Interesting. it. Interesting. Uh, and I think it's useful. I have to be honest. I think it's just too long, but I, I like, it was hard. Like it yeah. really put me like, well, and I, I remember like, you know, I was so anxious. Like, I saw like all the possible questions and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I, I have done the SAT. The SAT was not even in my city. I had to go to Bologna. So I had like, you oh, know, take okay. a three hours train yeah. and go and like take a hotel, do the exam. Like oh, it was scary. Oh my goodness, you know, you okay. Know, like, the day before. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I've done it in a classroom. It was a nice experience. Yep. Um, and then you start like, you have to transcript all your uh, academic journey. So all your high school or yep. like, you know, if you did a little bit of college in Italy, you know, yep. uh, you have to do all the transcripts. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, you know, fr from there, of course, it's a long process because then you start speaking with the coach and, like, hey, like, where do you see me? And you start to receive offers, right? Yep. I, I was, I, I had offers from Alabama. Okay. I had offers from North Carolina, you yep. know, and, and Missouri. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, I had, like, a 93% scholarship, like, all paid from, from Missouri. So I was, like, I, 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 I'm excited. Absolutely. And, and the thing was... Um, I had a friend from my same city, didn't play college, he just did an exchange student yep, here, yep. Um, and he hated Missouri. So the weird thing about me is that that, that kind of made me say like, okay, I'm not gonna refuse because you say that, you yeah, know, like, yeah. I, I have to try my to try, yep. which is a big decision, right? Because you have to stay there for a whole a year. A whole year, yeah. It's not like, let's go see for a vacation. Yep. Uh, but I was like, okay, you hate Missouri, let, let's see. And, uh, you're, and, you're, and you're committing to that school oh, you are, too. Oh, you are, you know, and, fully and committed. if you have to transfer and stuff, that takes at least six months. You basically wasted yeah, your freshman year. Absolutely. Um, and then, yeah, like that takes kind of like, I think it took like seven, eight months because I, I was finished. I was in my last year of high school. So yep. that's why we had to wait. Yep. My teammate, he was already done with high school. So it was like, okay, hey, do you want to so leave in? Quick. Okay. You want to go in two months? Yeah. Let's go. Um, and then I went to, to Missouri. Okay. So when you got to Missouri now, were you like negotiating, you know, the, the, the amount they were giving you in scholarships before you went or you, before you went to Missouri or after? How does one of I didn't negotiate it? nothing because that was my. That, the that, first one, you just wanted to take what you got. Okay. And well, no, I, I also didn't know, right? Okay. It's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. like, how much do you offer me? Okay. Uh, but I mean, honestly, that, that was, it's always funny. Like, my best friend, um, he always says, because I never speak about this in the video. This, yeah. this the American video is going to be the first one where yep. I say how much I got. You know, the per, like, I never yep. say because for me it's a flex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I'm, know I'm, I'm just not like that for yeah. money and religion. Yep. 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 Um, yep. But the funny part is that like, you know, me and that coach didn't click at all. Right. But I was one of the highest paid or, or not, the highest, high, highest cover. Yeah, yeah you know exactly. What I'm you know, okay. uh, the higher value players. Uh, the best scholarships. Yeah, yeah. So I was like. I don't know, I felt bad because the guy was uh, spent so much on me, but yeah. I had all covered dorms, like zero to spend, meal plan all covered for wow. the whole year. 
and then I had an iPad to study. Wow. Like from the school. Really? They gave yeah. me <laughs> they gave me an iPad and yep. the, the Apple Pencil and stuff. Yep. Um the only thing I paid was books, but I had three classes. So um, I was I keep interesting. Yeah, you cannot say no, yep. honestly. Yep. I think I paid um I paid 4K for the whole year. Yep. So oh, 4K. It, it's not I mean wow, that's that's less man. than Italy. That's, that's okay. I think I think I think that's what, what I was like I, I I'll go because like Italy I think was like my 4K, 10Ks, the good yep, ones. Yep. So I'm like, I mean, I get all that stuff as and well. And you get to play and oh. the dorms. I was with my teammates. I like, I like that. You know, uh, I was young. Now yep. I would hate to be in the dorms, but I yeah. was like 19, 20. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a very nice, nice offer, honestly. Did you have any expectations to what you were getting? Okay, but you said it was a new, it was you, you you're coming up here, but you were like completely clueless of what to expect in terms of soccer. Like soccer wise, you know, there is a stigma of American players, you know, not being as good as the Euro European players and, and, and the European system. Did you have any expectations coming into Missouri? Well, I was a little bit like scared that maybe like the, the team was not going to be like as good. But I have to be honest, like and this is like, you know, to show you how I am unbiased, like. I liked the coach a lot. Like he was like, dude. The like coach was, from Missouri. Yeah, he was, and we didn't click at all. So it's like I had a bad experience with him. But when I when I first called him and yep. the assistant coach, like he, he didn't. In, I think they never won anything. And he was all about like, man, I'm, I don't like to waste time. Like you know, I want to win. Uh, like it, the level has to be high. So I was like, I was like, awesome. Like you know, like uh, that. That's what I'm looking for. Yep. And um, and then, I mean, we won the national championship. Not me because like I said, we didn't click. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some different thoughts and even like following the years and because then. You know, I met him again in another conference. Like it is like a very particular tie. Yep. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean that, that that really like pumped me up. I was like, uh, I'm all for it. Yep. And uh, you know, that's where I met some of my best friends. Like yep. you know, this this best friend that I was talking about about like, hey, say how much you got in scholarship. I met him. He's another Italian. I met him there. Um, but yeah, you really felt like, I think, I think it was like. Uh, NFL vibe, like everybody's serious, strong, okay. which I think is perceived as high level. Yep. But at the same time, and I see it uh, and, uh, in one way, let's not like fuck around, like, you know, like let's train. Yep. Um, at the same time, I also think that high level, it's like being nice. Like, I don't know, Real Madrid just won the, the league and I know yeah. that like Ancelotti is serious, but also like, hey. It's goofy too, you know, the dancing after the Let's go grab dinner. And, like, yeah. tell me, I, like, I love that more than the other one. So it was very serious. Like, I never clicked with, and that's important for really? me. I never clicked with him. Like, I didn't know anything about him. Uh, he never came to our dorms to say like, hey, we, our family is like a little bit far from, yeah. him, from here, you know. So was it, was it just you having that experience or or you also saw with everyone it was the same thing no, with everyone I mean, it was tough man it was tough um, and like i said for our like I, I take responsibility like i was a little bit uh not cocky maybe a little bit cocky i was like you know like i come from two years of winning the championship yeah, i yeah. want to play yep. i was not playing uh and if i could go back i would literally accept the like I, I mean i grew up right i would accept the bench and say like yeah hey, i'm gonna enjoy this I, I just wanted to play i was yeah, like i'm, I'm, I'm yeah. here to play yeah uh, but no, I mean, I had a big friend of mine that he actually then went pro, so it wasn't okay. that bad. Yep, yep. Um, he left, like he was crying every night in the dorm. And really? I told the coach last, the last, my our last um, meeting, I was like, "Man, I'm leaving, but you should see the situation in the dorms. Like, you yeah. know, you're not hurting just me. Yeah, you're hurting. Uh, and that's, that's literally like the whole thing is about like this whole conversation could be about like the psychology of the coaches. You know, like how much I think it's not really taken in consideration as much here in the States yep. or, or from my experience. Yep. Uh, but yeah, this guy was like s crying, like he was very, very suffering. Like I, I, wasn't, I wasn't crying, I was just like upset. That's yeah. my defense yep. mechanism. Yep. Yep. My best friend, like, you know, Sahad, uh, which is this guy that I was talking about, like he was suffering as, as well because he came from, you know, Belgium, he was playing good yep. as me. Yep. He was not playing, but he didn't have enough feedbacks to be like, okay, I'm not playing, but this is what I need to work yeah. on. So, no, so lack of communication, lack of support for the players. Empathy, empathy as well. And I empathy. Feel, I feel. Uh, so, okay. So th this is this is a good thing to talk about then. So I'm a player, okay? And I enter into the college system and I'm trying to navigate it, but then I'm faced with a coach like that. How can, what is the advice you would give to me to be able to navigate that the right way? Yeah, so I mean. And not, and not make any mistakes or any well, rash I, decisions. For sure. Know? I had to think about that because now that I like, um, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my career. Yeah. I received some offers for coaching. So I really had to, uh, kind of like in a funny way to think about like, what type of coach would I be? Yeah. Um, and then the meeting like, you know, with, with these other coaches, like, you know, that have been training pro and stuff. And I was really like seeing how they interact and stuff. Uh, I, I I really put a lot of emphasis on on psychology. Like I I would be a very strong coach. Like if you don't perform or like if you don't put the effort, like 
I, I will tell you like, hey, you're not playing good. Yep. So you, uh, from outside, you're like, oh wow, like that's that's di direct. But also like, hey, maybe I don't know, uh, your dog died. Like, sorry, but I, I would be like, hey, if you need a week, yeah, to go take care of your mind, you know, yep. go take care of that. So this whole experience taught me that. And if you were like, let's say to like, I, I put you in my same first year. Um, well, at first, I I really say that like meditate uh hold the stuff because you know that's what i would do if i was back like looking back i was very emotional and stuff and i was like i want to play but at the same time hey just stay in the bench i would have had a title i would have had a ring you know all that stuff yeah so sometimes it's, it's like because you cannot change people that's what i understood like if, yeah. if you ask me i i mean if i if i'm the coach of a college right mm -hmm. you say we play you play for college a and you know i have Kirel, he comes from nigeria right like i cannot treat you the same way that i treat brandon that yeah. lives here in, in mecca yeah right you don't tell your friends you don't tell like if you don't play you don't you don't, you don't be like oh mom let's go out for dinner your mom is through facetime that's that's yeah, hurtful you know absolutely. so that's that's what i saw and it was honestly very hurtful you know because i was like you know i was just i feel like my anger and stuff like kind of like protest me as well i was just so angry that i was not really thinking about anything mm -hmm. but you know my friend like you know that was crying every night it was it, it would just you just need like that affection about like hey damn i played you know high level now i'm not playing nobody's talking to me like i think it's good for people to be in the bench mm -hmm. like but it's also like very different to be just like in the bench or to be like, you know, Karel, I think your shooting hasn't been very, 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 like it takes five minutes. Yep. Karel, I think your shooting hasn't been there. Um, you have in front of you Pedro, which has, you know, scoring five goals. Mm -hmm. You know, let's let, let's take 14 days, see how you improve. You're going to start like, boom, I yep. one, one, not even one minute. It's a I, feedback, I, I told, So you're in the bench and you're like, okay, Pedro is doing that. Yep. Uh, maybe I'm going to have a, 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 you know, I'm going to have like an occasion yep. and I can, you know, even appreciate Pedro Husk because I know that the coach likes, you know, this is such, such like simple example, mm -hmm. but it's a big, big difference. And yeah. in the States, I really have not seen it, I have to be honest. Really? Yeah. So as a player, you want them to be patient, you know, be observant of, of the environment that, that they're in and be and be adaptable, right? You have to be able to adapt to, to new environments. So the, what the, it, the, other, the last thing, sorry, yeah. and that was like very me, is to not isolate, you know? Ah, My self mechanism was okay. isolate. So when I, I was like, I'm not playing, yep. not playing, the, the next step is I don't feel part of the team. Yep. The third step is like, then I don't want to be part of the team. And, and the first step is like, I don't really recognize the team, which is like whenever maybe like we, they were sitting, I was going to hit before them so that I don't have to see. <laughs> but, but you know why? Not because I didn't like, like I, honestly, I like the guys a lot. I even spoke with one of the guys that I didn't click with him. Uh, there, but, but he, saw, he saw our interview. Oh, okay. He saw our, Shout out. <laughs> yeah, he saw our interview. Guti, like this guy okay. won NIA Player of the Year. Wow. And I was like, you know, I spoke with him like after six years. Yep. And I was like, hey man, I'm sorry that I didn't get to know you there. Yeah. But my reasoning wasn't like, oh, I don't like these guys. I'm jealous. Uh, no, I honestly, I think they were like very good team. Yep. I I was not at, the, at that level. You yep. know? And that, that, that took years to accept. Yep. Yeah. But it was more like I tried like one or two times. I sat with them and they were like, oh man, you know, that happened at practice. Oh, like, yeah, we're going to play this. And I'm like, I, I, that hurts me, you know? So, but that really, like, I really like, I didn't get to know these yep. people and I, I'm sure they were nice yep. guys. So try, so um, avoid isolating yourself and creating a support system. Because yeah. I think every player needs a support system as well, right? Yeah. I think our ego sometimes, like I mm. would have, I would have literally, you know, our ego says like, you know, you know, this guy doesn't know me. He's not going to care about me. Mm -hmm. But I think just like maybe like say, hey, Guti, this name was hey, Guti. Like, you know, what do you think? Like, I feel like I, I'm, you know, I've been pretty in a tough time. So hopefully, I don't think it happens a lot, but hopefully they take you kind of like in their wing. Yep. Um, and because I feel like some people like I also like, okay, this guy doesn't play. Like, yep. I don't care about him. Absolutely. And, you know, that's that's our kind of like self-awareness mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pride to be like, hey, mm -hmm. This is my journey. That guy has his exactly. journey. Exactly. And, and it's also about us. It's also about building that relationship, yeah. you know. At least if you have a relationship with the players, then, you know, sur surviving the coach and being and being able to live with the coach and, and you know, work with him is going to be a, little, a lot easier. Yeah. Maximize right? opportunities. I mean, that's, that's the key. Absolutely. So then what if, you know, and you're saying that the coach at Missouri was lacking, you know, uh, feedback. He wasn't really giving the players the feedback that they needed, especially the international players, which, they, which really wanted that feedback. What if now... Um, some players went to him for feedback. How would how would he take that? Well, I mean, I I didn't really go like I like I said. I, I just I just kind of like went with the flow, defended. Yeah. Um, but on the last meeting, I I you know I told him everything, and then that's the first time they kind of like he gave me some feedback, and I told him how I felt. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, like he was like w- what he told me was like, you know, you're you're just he was like, you know, you were just not there with, like with the with the training, with the level, which like I think it's hurtful to, to hear, but it's it's life, right? It's life, yeah. I think that what could have made a difference, like if you really care, and that's that's the whole point. It's like, you know, then then some people is like, why why would he care about you? Or like he has to care about you because you're an international player, like you know, what what you could give. It's like, hey, there were like five coaches, you know, so it's like big program, like it's a good program. It was honestly a nice NIA school. Um, hey, you're not there, but I care about you. So Coach David is going to be with you. Exactly. Let's go have some runs. Yeah. Let's go have something, right? Yeah. I, I never got offered. And I think, like I said, my my attitude was kind of like, you know, blocking him to be like, I care. Yeah. Because I was oh, like okay. very defensive, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the other players, like they were suffering. They were still in the bench. They were kind of accepting. But then, you know, they were having this confusion. Yeah, yeah. Um, So I think that like, you know, it was, it was a strong person. Like I said, I, I mean, the player... That I was talking about this, um, I did another interview yesterday, and you know when she was asking me how I felt in this new team, like right now where I play and stuff, I feel like the example that I give is like the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, which means the player that play, yep. they they get more and more. Like you know maybe you score goals, so your value goes high. If you make a mistake, it's not a big of a deal because you scored that last yep. game. Yep. But if you're in the bench, you go, you have so much pressure. Yep. If you make a mistake, you go down. So next game, I give you even less. You know, it's so hard, man. Yeah, absolutely. So it was already like a tough spot. Uh, but I do think it was going to be, like if, if it really was someone that likes, like, hey, I care about Giacomo. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, like, you know, Coach David, like, let's, you know, this guy is like, he's lacking this. Let's go work on it. Um, I mean, I was training by myself. Like I was going on the field, but of course it's not like you know I was. It's not the same. You yeah, know. it's not the same, man. So um, yeah, I just I just I just didn't work out. Absolutely, the and especially having like you know ninety three percent scholarship, bro. Like yes, come on, like fun. that. This is bad that management fun. at that point, you know. Yeah. On their part, um, what, what actually happened is that. I wanted to move out. Like, of course, first semester, I was yep. like, I'm, I'm out. Like, yep. what am I doing? Yeah. So I started receiving some offers. And then my international advisor, she's like best person, honestly, okay. I've ever met. Yep. Uh, so high level, like about, about caring. You know, like for her, it would be like, okay, one more student, one less student. Instead, she was like, why would you go? Like, okay. you have a beautiful scholarship. Like, take six months more, go to try out. But at least you have here, like you have the dorm. You don't have yep. to do anything. Yep. And I was like, oh, I can keep my, my scholarship. And she said, like, your scholarship is, is for you for a whole year. You know, you don't have to go now. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to play, you're not going to play, whatever. Okay. So I didn't know that. That's uh, someone that cares and yeah. goes one step beyond. Yep. You know? Yep. So so you're saying that at the time you were trying to leave right away. And yeah. I actually, I, had a, I received an offer from Orange Town, New York. Okay. I received an offer from uh, Arkansas. Like, I not best schools. Yeah. But, uh, you, Dichu, know, yeah. you know, and, and IA. Um, and then she was like, if you don't feel, co- I, w- I wasn't confident about those. I even went, like, I literally took a plane and they, they brought me to New York, okay. like, to see the school and stuff. Okay. And I was like, I don't know. I just don't, don't know, right? Yeah. Um, and then she was like, why would you move? You know, like, you want to be confident when you move. And you have such a high score. So, you know, she was even like, your scholarship's so great. Like, you know, just keep it. And I stayed. I okay. stayed there. All right. So after, so after that year, you decided to move then. Talk to me about the process. I'm guessing you had to go to the transfer portal and all that. So talk to me about, you know, how how you had to do to go through all of that. Yeah. yeah so first wondering. thing, spoke with the coach. I I I I think like I always took like very professionalism in what I do. Mm-hmm. So it was not like like some people just left, man. Like yeah. they were so really? mad, they just left. Just left. Um, which I don't know. I think it was understandable. Like it was it was a hard for me. Yep. It's a whole year, man. It's yeah. a long time. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's understandable, but it's not the best decision to make. No, this no, league. no. Of course, of you course, know, no, hundred percent. Yeah, it's not the best. I, I was like, I had that that pain, and I also always like to look a person in the eye and say like, hey, I suffered this much. I, I want you to know that, yeah. you know. So I took the the meeting with him. It was like I think two hours meeting. Like so I thought it was gonna be twenty minutes. Like yeah. hey, with with the coach. Yeah, two hours. Two hours. Um, and it was him and assistant coach, and you know, like it, it was a her. It was a hard meeting because he was like, you know, like, hey, uh, my assistant coach didn't think you were ready. I know you were like, you were, you were suffering, but put us in our position. And I was like, you have to put it in, in my position as well. I told him about everything, you know, as a feedback. I honestly was not trying to hurt me. Yep. I was like, for nine months, people have been suffering in the dorms. And I think like, as a feedback, if you want to take it, good. If you don't want to take it, it's fine. Yep. Um, so I was like, I want to be in the transfer portal. I'm out. Yep. It was, of course, it was, oh, it was okay. Yep. Um, I go in the transfer portal and then I go back to Italy because for the summer. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. how how do you enter into the transfer portal? Like you like how uh, what is the transfer portal? Yeah, the transfer portal is like um, I think it's uh, I mean I don't play video games, but maybe it's like it's like <laughs> FIFA, right? Like you okay. basically end things with with that team, and then you know the the school puts you like available. Okay. Um, and uh, you know then play then teams can look can look you up. Okay. But the thing is, it's so important to be in the transfer portal because let's say that a university wanted me, they cannot talk to me until I'm in the transfer portal. Like you know for some uh, okay. boundary reasons, yep. I respect. Yep. So I go in the transfer port, I go back to Italy, and I was like, I wanted to be in St. Louis because my ex-girlfriend was going to move there. So I w- I w- like, it's like, like, it's really like a video game. It's like when you're like, I, I put all the filters. It's like, not Florida. Not, oh, I want to be so, here. Yeah, I want to stay, yeah. be, stay so, so here. So there's like preferences you could yes. adjust in. Okay. Yeah. So I received like a bunch of offers, Iowa, Nebraska, um, Idaho. No, I was like, no, I yeah. want to be in Missouri. Like, yeah. I just, I just want to stay there. Yeah. Um, and I received St. Louis um, Community College, mm-hmm. which, like I said, um, that's that's a big thing. That this whole community college that people don't understand. Yeah. Um, I received the offer. Uh, it was a community college, so it's very cheap, good offer. Like I basically didn't pay anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing that they didn't have dorms. So the coach was like, you know, we're gonna put you in apartments. Yeah. He put us in the cheapest apartments ever, which was like kind of sketchy, not gonna lie. Uh, and there, like, of course, like I started a new journey where, yep. like, basically, you stop talking with the advisor and counselor yep. of your previous university, yep. and you start with the new one. And the good thing is that they they speak, so they're like, this is the curses that he that he took. This is the one. So you know, they do most of the job yep. then. Yeah. Um, and I think community college is. It was such a good decision, man. So you had how many years of, of eligibility did you have after you, you completed that first year? Did you still have three? three? Three more. You still had three more. So you went to that community college and, you know, I mean, it's different than, than a university, right? So tell me about some of the differences that you weren't expecting when you got there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the, I think, best insights that I can give because, you know, like a, a bunch of Italians, you know, see my stories and then they're like, I see so many messages, they're like, I received an offer from community college, but I'm just trying to go to a university, right? There really is this thought that community college is like, I don't know, the worst schools yeah, ever, yeah, or like, yeah, or like what bad, is that? What, why two years? Is yeah. it like a, I don't know, like a different program, right? Yeah, yeah um, a lower it, level program, yes, yes. you know. And it was very hard for me to understand. And also when I arrived, like I was coming from, yes, it was in the middle of nowhere, but the school was like high level, like, you know, the gym, kind of like, you know, college level. Mm-hmm. And I go to this school and it was like, Honestly, bad. Like, I mean, bad. Like the the machine most didn't work. You know, I was like, wow. I wanted to. So I, I, after six days, mm-hmm. I was I was about to take a uh, flight to Italy. Like really? I, want, I wanted to leave after six days. Six days. Um, so what happened? What what, what 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 made you change your mind? Talk so to me about the that. first one that helped me, um, it was that I was the second Italian in the history of the school. So I was like, well, I have to find the first Italian and yeah. ask him how he did do yeah. it. Yeah. Was he was he still going to the school? At no, the no, it was oh, it was how. Okay. But I was like, you know. Italians, you know, we're kind of, we, we like good. I don't know, we're it's just my culture. I was like, dude, where am I? You know. So I reached out to him, and, oh, okay. he, and, and he was like, stay there for a month. Yeah, I f- I'm sure that in a month you're gonna change your mind. Yeah, if it doesn't go back to Italy, right? Yep. But I, w- I I was crying, man. Yep. I, like I was very very. I was like, I I hate it. Yep. Um. Like, so okay. So talk. Wait, wait. So about the first the first guy, how old was he? You know, like how he, many? He was 98. So he was. Well, I was I was twenty two. Yeah. So he had yeah, I was twenty one. Okay. He did okay. The, he did the year before. Oh, okay. I see. Um, uh-huh. So I reached out to him. You know, in and Italy you find mind. you find contacts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> it's like know. it's like a hidden network. Well, over there. especially imagine the Italians that go to college was not too many people. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I found okay. him. Yeah. Um, and then he said, "Say, say for a month and so the, you the, fill the, it out." That made me curious. I mean, I was still suffering, kind yeah. of, but I was like, "Well, I mean, a month, okay." Okay. So I start playing. And uh, we had 16 players from UK, okay. and the rest, the, the rest were like half American, half, half South American. So it was like I don't even have my Europeans, you know, like, yeah. like I, I don't. I was like, I mean, you, you know, the UK, they were like so close to them yeah. that I was like, well, I could, you know, they were all friends. Yep. I mean, if, yep. if, I'm sure if I had six Italians, I would be fine. Uh, you know, the the field looked weird. I was like, where am I? I was like, maybe this community college really was a mistake, right? Um, but so, how am I? literally suggesting it to everybody after five years. So the differences are mm-hmm. the community college is for two years. So you have freshman and sophomore year. Yep. The, the, univer- the normal university is four years. So you have junior and, and um, uh, senior. 
after in a community college after the sophomore you have to you have to switch like you know there's no junior or or yeah, we or, have to look for you can take more courses like you can literally stay basically in the sophomore year forever um but it basically doesn't count it's just like a, a more specialization specializations yep. Yep. because then what you get is not a bachelor degree but it's associate degree you know oh. so it's a it's a two years degree yep. yep the associate degree is not fundamental for you to move so um there, I took it. Some people didn't get it. I like didn't make enough credits, but enough credits to play and then to be transferred. Mm -hmm. um, what, what were you studying? I, I was studying acting. Oh, yeah, acting. okay. So yep, yep. I was the, even there. I was the weird guy. Like I, everybody was in business. Yeah. I was acting, man. Yep. Of course, we had some similar schools, general studies, as mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think that the main key of why it's so important and why I think community college is the best. First of all, you start from, I think it's a, lower level than university, right? I mean, some. Yep. Um, I don't want to speak with all of them, but like if I pick, if I put St. Louis uh, to like, you know, the other one in Missouri, it was a little bit like, you know, less people, like yep. it was 2,000 yep. students compared yep. to like six, 10, exactly. 20K. Le less funded, it wasn't as funded as a- uh, Exactly. One. So you start from the lowest level, which I think makes you appreciate and gives you a little bit slow pace, right? Second of all, you really get to know everybody, man. Like, I mean, 2,000 people, I used to like come out of class and be like, so man, yep. hey, oh, yep. what's up? Hey, and I loved it. Like that, that's college experience yep. for me. It's not exactly. the one million gym. Yep. It's like, oh, what's up, bro? Like, yep. oh, well, you know, love that. It's a sense of community. Sense of community, man. Yeah, and that that's the thing. Um, for example, in this school, COVID destroyed that because now everybody's remote. So if you go there, you know, I have some friends that still go there and yep. they're sad to you. But yeah. before 2019, yeah, yeah, that was that was awesome. You know, uh, a lot of events because, like I said, people are just always there. Like you know, so they made a lot of events, mm -hmm. music and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and the the third thing is that, of course, like you know. Being someone that has to transfer, you have every game, you have ton of scouts, man, ton. Really? Yeah, you have all these weird guys like in like behind the tree looking. And every time my coach was like, yeah, that's Kansas City. Really? That's Alabama State, yes. And and, and it was true, like it was true. So like, so there are, you know, actual big scouts coming to watch the, the games in the, in the community colleges. Yeah, because like, think about, why would, I either go, I don't know, I feel like the options could be like this. I either go to... Italy, take a flight, go to Italy, look spend around, destroy out, spend money and stuff. Either go to university, okay, but does that guy want to transfer? He can stay there for uh, his, or do I go somewhere where they have to transfer, yeah, you know? Yeah. They're around this area. That, so And and, and there are like a, like a good bit of international students as well too, right? Oh, for, oh no, I mean most. So the other good thing is that you, you can enter in community college with lower scores. Okay. So... Um, I don't know, like I have, I have like, you know, there's a ton of Brazilians, you know, that sometimes, you know, they have a struggle yeah, um, yeah. or people from Africa and, and they're crazy players, you know, but they can come with lower yeah, exactly, scores. Yeah. Italians as well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I have to be honest, like the, the, the level that I played in that community college was, was very high because you, I mean, there's actually a player, I think two or three players that was in my conference, they're professional in MLS now. Really? Yeah. And they were just like, uh, uh, you know, like Lewis and Clark yep, College. Yep. Uh, I played versus them. Their forward right now it plays for Toronto. That's so crazy. Uh, yeah, I'll send you the story. But you know, that's uh, ridiculous. It's 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 cool. I honestly, like, whenever I think about it, it's it was a nice environment. Yep. Like slower pace. Yep. And um, I know for me it was funny every time to look at the kind of like the the trees and the benches yep. to be like, how many scouts today? You're yeah. like, oh yeah. man. And, and that's, you, it, that's, that's that's kind of cool, man. Because you know you think people don't know that. People they don't, don't know, know that. that. Yeah. The stigma is that you know you go to a community college, it, it's less likely that, that yeah, that you're, you're wasting time. Pro. This, this you're is wasting what they, time. people tell me. It's like yep. it's like two years. Like you know the level is based like. Man, if you perform there, like exactly. if you score 30 goals, yep. you go to a D1 for sure. Yep. Like you literally go to a D1. So basically the key is knowing how to navigate these systems. Right? I, feel like, I feel like the key, uh, so if I was a player, like yeah. a soccer player, I don't know for the other sports I was, but if I was a soccer player, big key is go to the national champion. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna, because you know, I just told you like people, like scouts come to see you because you're in community college, so you have yeah. to transfer after two years, right? Yep. So imagine if you go to nationals. Okay. So you have 16 teams. You know that these teams are the best yeah. ones. They have to transfer. Yeah. So I'd say like, I think, I don't know, but 30% of players that then go to uh, national champions, like, yep. and, you know, the final four, final eight, yep. they receive a D1 offer. Wow. Okay, well, interesting. So how many, so you spent the, the full two years at that community college? No, I spent, I, I did my freshman at the other college. Misery. Then I, then I went to this college in St. Louis. So I did my sophomore and then after sophomore, I, I, had, to, I had to move. Okay, so after sophomore, oh yeah, because it's only two. So after sophomore year, okay, you went back into the transfer portal again. 
but this time you were a little bit more experienced with the, with the transfer portal. Was there anything you were looking for particularly? Yes. Yeah. I for me, uh, you know, with acting, I got to know some actors from from the place. They were like, "Dude, you have to come here." Like, you know, all the castings are here. Yep. Um, so I was like, "Okay, another filter this time." Yep. In LA, you were California, LA. LA. Yeah. California. So so hard, man. Yeah. Because I feel like another, um, I don't know. I'd say belief is that New York, Florida. In California, so hard, man, because everybody wants to go there, yeah, right? Yeah, the sunny state, the, yeah. the New York of opportunities in California, the yep. good life. Yeah, so, high, com so high, high competition, high level High competition. competition, man, yeah. So all the transfer port is like everybody wants to go there. Mm -hmm. So it's like that stuff. And like I was saying the last time, you know, like then I had this, this cool reach out to me and they offered me like a bad scholarship, uh, which I took because I was like, I want to go there. I just want to go there. So I had to pay 10K per year. That was a lot for me. Yeah. Like, you know, that was like, that's not my... Yep. Kind of like my filters. Yep. Um, and then COVID hit. So I had to stay in Italy, you know, and, and just like um, basically like follow from, from, from Italy, pay a ton of money and don't even play in, in, uh, in, in Los Angeles. Also, you were still paying to, yeah. so were you doing like online school at the time? Yeah, I was okay. doing like online school. And like I said, that, you know, when I told, when I told you, which I think is like the concept of this, yep. of this podcast, like, you know, about negotiating, I really had no opportunities because I was, I was, maybe in a stupid way, but I was like, I just wanted to go. So yeah. I was like, okay, maybe I'll take a loan. I don't know, like, which is something that I, I, ne I don't, I don't want to be in debt. I don't want to have loans. Yeah, but it's no. like, that's my opportunity. It's like if, if I don't do it now, I'm never yeah. going to do it. Yeah. I had my friends in LA saying like, you know, man, you're 23. Like you don't have 10 years to become an actor. You have to become an actor now. Yeah. Um, and I, I didn't have any other good offers from, from that area. Yeah. So I decided then, you know, of course, nobody could predict COVID. So yep, it was yep. it was not a waste of money, but I spent so much to then not even be there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So after COVID, you came back up and did you That's where I started to, ne to negotiate. Ah, That's where I started. okay. Okay. So we're getting into it now. So you came back up and so what did you finish off your junior year yep. online in Italy? Yeah, I, I finished uh, my junior year, like, uh, which was, I mean, I don't know, if I think about it, it was kind of cool. Like, I mean, my journey was like, my day yep. was like, you know, wake up at 6 a.m., yep. meditation, because I was, I mean, COVID was depressing, man. Yeah, bro. I couldn't yeah, train. Bro. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I was like, then I was playing PlayStation. That, okay. That's my only year that I played PlayStation, yep. like in these older years, I said when I was nine years old. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think PlayStation four hours. Yep. And then, you know, with the time zone, school at oh, night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. My, like my, of... my family was sleeping. I was like, yeah, so in my opinion, the question is, you know, <laughs> which is, it was crazy. Like my yeah. family sometimes was like, oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, 11 p.m. class. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, and then, so what happened is like, I think in business, scholarship, college, marketing, the main word is leverage, right? So what happened is like, I didn't have leverage in LA because I just wanted to go so bad. That I was like, I'm not even gonna risk to say, hey, can I pay 4K? What if they say no, right? But this time I had leverage because I was just so depressed that I was like, I don't care about anything or any, like I lost my opportunity, right? I, it was like basically griefing yep, yep. about this opportunity. So this school in Oregon, you know, reached out to me, like we saw in the last episode and, and they were like, we want you in Oregon. I was like, I don't think, you know, we already spoke about it. It was like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I like Oregon. So if you want me there, I need, I want, I want, you know, like I, I, what's the offer, yeah, right? Yeah. So they sent me the offer and I think it was 88%. I have numbers in the video that yeah, is gonna yeah, be out. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, Check it out. But all the numbers were written, so it's in that video. Um, and I'm like, perfect. So the main question that I learned is like, what's in the scholarship, right? Because like we spoke a little bit before the interview, uh, whenever I speak even with Americans or people ask me for advice, they're like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm paying 15K. Of course, what are you not paying though? Like, what do you have off? Because yep. if you don't know that, then you're like, oh, wow, I have to pay insurance as well. That's 400 per month more. Okay. Oh, I don't have, so in my, in my offer, I was like, this is like, this basically, this is the highlight of the, this is how I saved 50K for me to pay. I asked him, you know, like, what's my, uh, scholarship have and he told me like you have um you have the meal plan full covered yep. full tuition okay, full tu wow full so tuition full tuition you have um the uh, the meal plan yeah and then he, to he told me do you want the dorms or do you want insurance so at first i was like what even is insurance i mean i know what insurance is like yeah, yeah. i'll like, take what, the dorms yeah. like why, why, why would i care about the insurance right yeah and so i started do some research, I was like, I don't know. I mean, insurance starts to be 400 per month for a good plan can be even 800, you know, like it's like, okay, what insurance would you offer? Yeah. 
and he told me like it's a good plan like he's like i don't know platinum bronze whatever you know like yeah. he, all these names yeah. uh i was like hmm, okay like you know that means that like i mean if i, I had some injuries in the past you know oh. the dorms is gonna be like i think eight nine k you know like how much i calculated i, I decided to go with insurance right in that year i got diagnosed with compartment syndrome Oh, that was a year. That, that was the year. So, I mean, good, so good, clutch, good the full tuition, good the meal plan, you know, like happy with it. Yeah. But that that surgery that, that I had, it was full covered by the insurance. Wow. If I didn't have the insurance or even they, like how the Italian ones work is you pay, then we give you back the money. I didn't yep. have 50K. Yeah. Uh, I, think the, I think the surgery was like 50 to 80K. I don't have the right number, oh, but I got goodness. three surgeries. So negotiating. Uh, saved me yep. 50 to 80k yep, man. absolutely that's crazy so okay so you decided to take the insurance over the housing because of you know because you knew that you had some injuries in the past and then you know that there's always a possibility for it yeah it was a sense because if you ask me now i would be like i don't know i'll take the dorm like yeah, yeah i mean because it might like why are you why are you saying i'm like yeah man, the dorm i would, like, I would choose the, the dorm basically the dorm you already know that is expensive the yep. insurance can get expensive can but get, yeah i feel like i don't know it made me feel safe i was like really? you know like you have a good premium yep. like uh insurance in the states i feel like i don't know maybe, maybe it was nasty because yeah that's safe i, I would yeah, be so bro. in debt right now like I yeah would have no oh money my man. goodness so you chose that and then you end up paying instead of paying how much so how much were were you going to pay if you didn't negotiate and how much did you end up paying yeah so um i i paid i i had to pay 10k for the whole year okay um for the dorms that's yep. it that's what i had to pay um and for the insurance i think i i mean with the surgeries i would have to pay almost 100k okay so we are talking about one tenth of what i had to pay yeah two that's surgeries crazy. are expensive in the yeah, states bro. man two surgeries are expensive so then now that you're injured right so you got so how long into the season did you get hurt uh first month first month you got hurt yeah so for players that you know are facing injuries right like like that you know it, it's hard man so like again walk us through some of the things that you were going through and then, and then we'll unpack it so that's you know. a nice question that's a nice question because i feel like they it's a it can be so helpful to be like the comparison between that and just not playing with the first year yeah. right so freshman freshman and uh Senior. Oh, senior, yeah. Senior. senior, yeah, junior. Yeah. No, actually, with the with the online and the yeah. old COVID, they didn't yeah. count most of my classes, so I had to do repeat the junior year. You had to repeat the junior year. Yes, sir. Yeah. So freshman and again junior, uh, that was just tough. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, like I said, you, you don't play, you don't play. Like, yep. what was the difference? Yep. Well, first of all, the main difference was that I I had like um, a Spanish, I had like Trinidad and Tobago guy, and then I had my friend like um uh, from that basically the, the, the guy the freshman yep. year i brought him in that team oh i said like man oh yeah come. yeah yeah yeah. i remember that I remember yeah, so that, i yeah. brought him there um yep. and that helped me you know because of course i was a little bit like um, isolated just just because i, I, mean, I couldn't play yeah. like I, I was i had a syndrome yeah but but then you know you go you go sit uh, like at the cafeteria and you have that you know yeah, that fun story you know yeah. i was focused on like at that point just making videos as a memory like i was basically like it's sad to say because it was a way to me i was basically the, the cameraman of the of the of the <laughs> game of the team yep, right yep. Uh, i wanted to be the protagonist and play but yeah. i was just so injured like my legs were not working yeah um and that really made a difference i think because i mean um, I think it was a hard year overall, you know, being all the surgeries and stuff, not being able to play. Yeah. Uh, but I have good, very good memories about that year because I don't have the, oh, I was crying in the dorm. I had like, damn, I mean, I, 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 they're still my best friends like today. Like, you know, we were talking about like, oh, oh, that and that and that. And I could be in it because, you know, this uh, friendship really made me feel with it. Like sometimes Absolutely. I literally went there uh, in Oregon. We were staying at 5 a.m., man. Training at 5 a.m. Training at 5 a.m. So 4.30 to be awake. You can see the vlog. It's in my channel. Yeah. Like 4.30 uh, alarm. Yeah. Um, watch the face literally fast. No skin routine. You don't have time for that. <laughs> uh, watch the face right away. Uh, and then 4.45 car, teammate, mm -hmm. drive. Uh, I think it was 29 Fahrenheit. Really? Or 39, yeah. Oh my goodness! So cool. Oregon, man, you just oh mounted. man! So you gotta wake up from your nice, cozy little yeah. bed. So I, I think I told you last time, like this coach was into this. I don't know military belief that, like yeah. you know, if you train first train thing hard. in the yeah. morning, yeah. you'll be the best. Yep. I don't think that was working because we were like <laughs> dead in class. I mean, you know, like I, I was seeing a podcast yesterday to another Italian, uh, different, like he's in Italy now. And he was asking, uh, he, this guy was asking him like, oh, but is it true that like, you know, the college life, yeah. uh, and this is the, the, the year where I literally realized, this guy was asking him, um, do, you, do you think that the college life is, is actually hard? Like it's hard to maintain? And he was like, oh, I don't know. I don't think like we have, 
good practice, but good for him. Like for me, yep. that's the year that I was like, dude, we are pro players. Yeah. Just with, with the no pro title. Yep. Like yep. 5 a.m. train, like wake up at 4.30. 5 a.m. training until like 7.30 a.m. Wow. Then you go back, you wash. Yep. Like, yeah, class. Fr- class until 11 a.m. So whenever we arrived in class, I, 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 can, I can share with you. For me, it was funny, but yeah. then we had professors that w- they were mad. Like, I had like six, seven teammates sleeping in the class, right? <laughs> and so, like, even like some, oh, of, no. some of the classmates, they were like, oh, like, they're asleep. I'm like, man, we have been awake exactly, for six hours, bro. dude. Like, you know? Yeah. So, it was it, it was the first college where I thought that the professors didn't really understand. Mm. Like, it's like, do they know what we do? Yeah. Or yeah, exactly. because I'm like I'm like, dude, we are not even supposed to be like yep. five a.m. Five a.m. Um, so I really think that, that that put that in a in a in a bad position. Like overall, like I, I mean, we're dead, man. Like yep. you know, imagine you wake up so early and then you know, and the other thing that I can tell you is you don't get used to. Like we, me, the Spanish guy was like. I was like, maybe in one month, we wake up at 4.30 and we're like that. Yep. But then, I mean, you ha- you still have to do class yep. and then, you know, meeting with the team, yep. homeworks. I mean, you have to still sleep at 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m. So you sleep, what, five hours yeah. per night? Like and then it's, it's, a, it's a consistent routine too, man. Was, was, and then you was had the hard. games and then, oh, boy. It was hard, man. Yeah. Like we were scared to, to train because it's like, it's like, Hopefully tomorrow is like it's a day off because yeah, like yeah. five a.m. like and in the freezing cold, freezing bro. So, cold, so the, the hits cold. is is it feels even yeah. worse. You can see in my videos like there's some vlogs where like people are just like yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's cool, man. Man, so how long did were you injured? So what? So after you got the all surgery, year. holy, so you didn't play? You didn't play at all? No, I I played. I, I just like. Because I got diagnosed late, oh, so my legs man. were not working. But I, I used to play like yeah, five, yeah. ten minutes and stuff. Through. And that's true. Like you know, like I said in the first year, I was like, those guys were good, no excuses. In this one, man, like I mean, I, if I could play now yep. in that team, yep. I, would, I, I think I would be a starter, in my yep. opinion. Uh, but we had good players, you know, we had good players. And um, uh, like I said, I I basically took this. Uh, I took it better because I was like, I have a diagnosis, so yep. it's like it's not that I'm bad. It's just mm-hmm. like my, my legs were not working, but mm-hmm. it was the whole year. Yep. So so at the, at this point, you're already you're experienced and familiar familiar with the with the schooling system in the U.S. and 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 how it all works. I know everything. You know everything. So talk to me about you know like the things you were becoming more aware of of how of how the system worked at that time. Now now that you have a little bit more experience. Yeah. So the main I think lack of um, college soccer uh, and the more I speak with people the more I'm like okay it's just not Giacomo it's more people uh, which then I think I'm going semi-pro maybe in the pro I don't know never been there hopefully yeah. uh, but it's um, it's the psychology aspect of soccer which uh, I think for me like I, I it's the best it's the most important thing like we you know I see what you repost on Instagram as well like you see the first thing is culture right yeah. so I really can see how even when I speak with the coaches, like they don't watch the best teams in the world, right? Yep. Like if I were to be a coach, I would literally watch. Even if maybe I don't care about Bayern Leverkusen and Borussia, yeah. How do they like exactly? Like if you're right now, you're not studying Bayern Leverkusen, 51 games and like streak unbeaten, you're not passionate, man. Yep. In my opinion, you know that is true. So that the first is thing is, is culture. Is like even if you're born in the states, like that's why I'm, I'm not like saying like oh Americans. Are not good. It's like just like I mean, there's ton of people that are passionate, you know. Um, so it's like you know, watch the game, watch the game. The players don't watch the game as well because then it, it's not just in the culture. So that's lacking because you will understand it. Like I don't know. I feel like most of my teams in the in the states was like long ball and we'll make something out of it. Why? I mean, I love the ball. Why would I have to give the ball away? Like I want the ball. Like exactly. I'll, I'll do fifty pa- passes with you right yep, there like yep. I, uh, the ball is ours the people have to come this is my thing mm-hmm. uh spain italy is really like that you know yep. italy is very defensive that's why i'm more into spain like okay. uh, even like for how they play you know yep. um so that's that was the first thing like it was, it was really like okay guys centered center defender midfielder long ball t- it's like why can't we not play you know that was the first difference that i noticed it yep. was like oh, after three years that i play here i really noticed that yeah second of all it's like empathy and emotional attachment to the players like it was lacking lacking like like for me man if i have a team i mean i love I, I i would be like i either like got put there and i'm like i'm a prisoner yep. or i love to do it right really so it's like it's like i mean why would you not go with your team out at least one every two weeks i'm not talking about clubs i don't yeah, like clubs yeah, yeah. but Hey, let's have a pizza tonight. Like, yep. uh, guys, yep. you know, I want to know them. Mm-hmm. Because like I said, like the old example comes down to like the first year, like, oh, this guy, if I think this guy were thinking like, oh, this Italian really like 
r- reacts so bad, but it's like, man, I have my whole family in Italy. Like, I came here to realize a dream, yep. to make money, and yep. to help you know yep. them. Yep. Like, I'm not wasting time. Exactly. If uh, I don't know, like Charlie that lives there in Missouri doesn't play, it's maybe it's okay. I don't know. He can he can see his family tonight. So yep. you don't understand that. You don't understand the story. Like you know, yep. this guy didn't know anything about me. So, so I, it's like I, lack I, of building those relationships. Yeah, you I want have to. Maybe. Yeah, I want to know like. Maybe like I don't know, you're not playing. Why do you I don't know break the water bottle? Like, did you have any bad experiences when you were a child? Like, you know, did you were you abused? Like, I want to know everything about yeah. about you. Like, yep. hey, oh, like your brother died one month ago. Like, yep. man, if you're yep. if you're sad, I feel for you. Like, yep. I'm, as I'm a so, coach, right? Yeah, as a coach, you, the, 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 these are the things you should be doing as a coach. I, I, I'm like I, I I knew things about my the players more than the coach. You know, like, I, I had a I had a teammate like you know he lost both of his parents with COVID, and oh. he was right there two months after playing. And and I mean it was so good because like, it was like he was not showing it, but I was like, man, this guy is literally just here to play and not yeah. think about his parents, you know. So of course you don't have to make him play yeah. because he had that. But wow, I mean, would you, do you know that? Like, yeah, you have do, to, do you I mean, know how to yeah, speak with it, him? It would be very helpful if you did, you know. Of course, I mean, I, there's a the soccer is all about soccer is not just a sport. Sport is just like it's a word. Then there's soccer. Then there's like you know yep. the the act of playing. But then there's like hey outside the field, yep. hey yep. Like activities yep. like you know team bonding. Absolutely. So that's like, honestly for me is, is lacking a lot. Really, and 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 compared to um, Europe, Europe has has a, has a good. They're they're really good Dude, at like, that. I mean, you go out. I wouldn't say every every week, but yeah. it's like hey, like let's make something happen. Like you know, let's 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 yeah, yeah, people go out to the clubs a yep. lot, and you know yep. you kind of become friends. Yep. Because at the end of the day, like I feel like that that's where we really create. Like you you play. Um, I always said like the starters always are gonna become more friends than mm-hmm. the bench players because, yeah, yeah, because you score yeah. little hug. Yep. Oh, okay, I like yeah, that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but then outside of the field, you can get to you know like oh wow, like oh, oh that's that experience that's hurtful. Like I respect you for that, you know. Like oh, what's your story? Yep. If you don't know the stories, man, what what are we doing? You know. And and it, it also shows on the field. You know, you look at you look at these top teams. Look at Real Madrid, man. You don't you don't think these boys have you know good chemistry, man, and good relationships. And, and look at look at what they're doing. Just won the Champions League. You that's, know? that's what I always say. Is like I mean, honestly, for me, that like the, the main example. Um, and you know, every time people is like, oh, because they win, I'm like, no, dude. Like I mean, Camavinga and Vinicius, they go on vacation together. Mm-hmm. Then Vinicius, when he goes to Brazil, he stays with Rodrigo. Like you know, they spend the whole day together. They yeah. could go out with other friends, but uh, you know, they like each other and yeah. they know each other and they respect each other. Yep. And on the field, man, you just you just play differently. Wow. So, but before we we move into the the, the semi pro talks, right? For our, our last segment is uh, semi pro talks. Is there anything you want to cover cover or, or we didn't cover on you know college soccer in regards of what pe- people should know? Or? No, I, I just I just hope like I think I saw it, like I said I I I follow you, man. Yeah. I saw your talk with Soccer Dave. Yeah. When he was saying like, uh, you know, I think 15, 20 years like the new generation is gonna change that. Okay. I think I th- I think that's at least. Because now that I, I was offered coaching position, I go there, I do the meeting, and I noticed, right? All the academies, American coaches. Okay. All the, you know, players then learn from that. Yeah. And I think like I think like there's just a little bit of humbleness. Like like I would take if I was the owner of like, I don't know, a team, I'll try to look like, okay, South America has good coaches, come. Italy has good coaches, come, right? If I was opening an NFL team in Italy, do you think I'm gonna take I don't know an Italian. No, like, can can we find an American? Yeah, he has no. He knows yep. everything. Yep. So I was like, wow, there's not European like in even in this. So then the American learn with that. Yep. But it's just like you know, you you have no idea how many Americans ask me, why do you like soccer? Like it's like we watch it on TV and it just seems a little bit slow. I'm like, damn man, we, like it's that's it's like we can still we have yeah. to stay here. Like the, to ask me that, yeah, we are so far. So uh, yeah, I just hope that the states are gonna have, even for like I really. Think for the kids is important to have some European yep. uh, and like different view, like yep. hey, tiki taka, possess yep. of exactly, the ball. Exactly, exactly. And and even if you know it's not full of European coaches, at least we get that European experience. Yeah, not all of them, of course. You know, and and the the, the players that like, like we spoke with in the in the interview with, with Soccer Dave is that th- those players who get those experiences come back to the U.S. Like you have yep. the Pulisic's coming back, and you have the McKenney yep. coming back, and yep. I said McKenney, right? McKenzie, McKenney, 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 McKenney yeah, yeah, and and they, they come back. So what? So are, are you are you considering becoming a, a a coach? You know, is that is that on the table? Is that I don't I honestly don't know what my life is gonna look <laughs> like, man. But um, I mean, honestly, it, yeah, I was inspired. Like, yeah, actually, the the third coach of the team that I'm playing now, he was the one to say like, 
dude, like uh, you, you have it. Like, you know, you, you should be one. And they think I would be a good one. I think yep. I would be. I just don't know. Like, it has to be worth it. Like, you know, yep. Uh, yep, exactly. money, yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But all, all the back end I, I have stuff. the, like, I was, I'll tell you this and then we can go in the other session. But like, yep. uh, we were, we, we lost six players because they had to go back to Europe in my current team. Yep. Um, and, you know, everybody was like, oh, okay. Like, we, I was in the shower. Um, and I was telling my girlfriend was like, you know, like just doing it like cooking, I think. And I was telling to my girlfriend the formation that I would have done oh, with the players that really? we, she, was, she was like, dude, you're crazy. You know? it's, <laughs> it's like, just rest. But it's like, no, I would actually put him, him as a six. And then, so, you yeah. know, if it's that's the passion, not passion. man. It's the passion you got. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I think it's also problem solving. Like, yep. oh, like Karel got injured. Yep. Who's going to be the best? I, I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. I, I, I could see it. I could see it happening, man. You know, we'll you got you to gotta let me know if it, if it, if it happened. <laughs> so, so now um, you have your series going on. I, I, so are you, are you going to continue the series or? Uh, level up? Yeah. Uh, level up is going to, well, I mean, okay, we're going to give this spoiler. Let's give me a spoiler. Give me well, a spoiler. so for now it's going to end with, we have two games left. We are first in the division. So two games left to win the championship. Okay. Then there's a playoff. Yeah. Uh, playoff, if you lose, you're, you're back home. Like, you know, you're, you're done. Yeah. Um, and then there's going to be my video where I announce that I'm going to retire. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. so okay, okay. I was um watching some of the comments on on the video, and I was trying to you know use the Instagram translate, and I'm seeing the play the, the comments. No, Jack, come on, don't leave. I, we we want to yeah. want to continue. want to continue it. So I wanted to ask you that question. So <clears throat> the team you're playing now. What what's the team's name and and, and like what what division is it? Talk to me. About. Yeah. So team is uh Polk United okay. uh, from Lakeland, you okay. know Florida. Yep. Uh, they made the team 2024. So like fresh new yeah they were they were another team yep and then these sponsors bought the team they changed the name changed oh, wow. this. so it's okay, a new so, so it's serious it's a serious thing going on i guess yeah it's a it's a new, all new thing uh they they kind of registered and you know they could register only upsl uh division one yep. so it's a upsl which for me was all new i didn't know anything about it um and uh yeah i mean it's it it was a i'd say like very weird ride for me because <laughs> I don't know, like it's very American, you know. So <laughs> yeah. it's like something Explain I'm like, that, what are yeah. we doing, you know? Yep. Uh, the, the 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 trainings or like uh, other stuff. Uh, like what, what, walk me through like one of, one of the weird trainings that that. Well, you I guys mean, went the through. first training we were eighty people. Eighty people. Yeah, because I feel like it was a little bit like you know tryouts as okay. well. But then basically there is this thing about like um, being welcoming, you know, like 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 oh if you want to come back. But then at the same time, what happens is like. You, you have to arrive, What? why in college there's like first team and reserves? Because you wanna like separate and not lower the level. Yep. When you start, like I think the most frustrating thing for me was that we have, I'd say, I don't know, let's say 15 good players and then the other ones, it's just not that they're bad players, you can see that they don't care. Like for them, it's just like, let's play, you know? Yeah. So if then I'm playing, I don't know, 11 versus 11, right? And I wanna train it because I wanna win the championship. You just wanna be, right? If you pass, if you pass me like a wrong ball, right? Fine. But if you then don't run back, that's yeah. very frustrating, man. Ooh, because okay. you, we're, we're like, I, I, I want to win even in, in training. Like, I want to win yep. every time. Yep, yep. So it's like you know, there's not this separate. In Italy, they will literally do like, okay, first team, second team, do this exercise, do this exercise, right? So I like the welcoming because I, you know, I think what they are thinking is like they can improve playing with the good players, but at the same time, the level kind of like yeah. goes down yeah. a lot. So, and it's a mentality as well. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you, yeah, I mean, I always tell my coaches like, if that happened in Italy, yeah, that would be a big trouble. Like, you know, <laughs> they, they're gonna scream at you and like. Yep. So I see that this there's more peace in the states. Like, okay, next one. Okay. Italy's like, why you did that? You know, like, like yeah, let's, yeah, like, like, let's yeah, be absolutely, st absolutely. St stealth, stealth. Some people may make the argument, oh, you know, it's semi pro. Like, why is it? Why is it? Why are you taking it so seriously? Walk me to talk to me about the comparison between semi pro in the U.S. and semi pro in in Italy. Oh man, I mean, talk to me uh, about that, man. It's uh, I think I think semi pro in it, semi pro in the states. I think would be sixth to seventh division in Italy. Really? So semi, yeah. Oh man, I mean, yes. If we were to if we were to play a semi pro team in Italy, yeah. I think we will lose like five zero six zero. Yep. So I think of course there's different rankings here. The yep. level is not the main thing. Um, so it's, uh, I think it's just a title for now. Cause of course there's like not money around, not, not big money around. It's more like a title and to make, I feel like the, the play, I mean, I feel like when people ask me, it's like, I have to say, like, I play semi-pro, mm -hmm. but I mean, in Italy semi-pro you make, 
I don't know, three to four K per month. Okay, that's not uh, bad, man. Yeah, you, you know? train every day. Wow. Uh, you have sponsors like cleats. You know, like it's it's high yep. level, man. It's like, like actual know? semi pro. Yeah, it's, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's what I see. It's, it's like actually like you go play another team. You don't go like here. We drive with yeah, our car. Yeah, you have the team the bus. The team bus. You know, so that, I, that's one. You know, that's okay. a big thing. And they think like like I said, like 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 as a team bonding. I think that's a missed opportunity because um, I was literally thinking about the, the whole driving thing. Is like you know. In Italy, like when you're young, you drive with your mom to yep. the game. Yep. And then I went to Switzerland. We, I was still young. The team didn't have like big money. We had big buses for like the big, yeah, big, the big, the pro, the first team yeah. and stuff like that. But for uh, for hours or like you know the small thing, you still go with a small bus. Like you still, and yep. it was like, and so it's still a team, but on a smaller bus. Yeah, but I know. remember thinking it's like, oh, the small bus. Come on, I want to have big bus. Yeah. <laughs> and then I come here, and I'm like, I don't even have the There's small bus. bus? <laughs> So I'm back to level one. Yep, yep. And I think that, that that's another team bonding moment, man. I mean, of course, exactly. there's going to be some people. I'm yes, one of them. Man. Headphones, don't talk to me. I go in the mood. But hey, man, you know, how do you think the game yep. is going to go? You, and you miss like an hour of driving, an hour to prepare the game with your teammates. Exactly. So it's, uh, yeah, it's actual semi-pro, I think. It's yep. Italy. Yep. Is there, is there any other thing, you know, any other thing? So apart from, you know, the um, the... Lack of professionalism, you know, the mentality, and just the way they operated compared to the U.S. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't want to offend. No, that lack of. I, I think some team, yeah, kind of like. I mean, okay, budget, some team, yeah. at least some team. Yeah, you know. I, I mean, we don't we don't know. we don't have locker rooms, and most of the teams that we play don't have locker rooms. So we arrive, and we sit on the bench, and we have to change there. That's it's like what? Yeah. Like in Italy, that that's, that's not even an option. Yeah. Like you go in the locker room team talk with it and another thing that like i don't know if it's my coach choice but i like to have the the board yep we told the you know like these are we're gonna play the movements we don't we don't we don't do that uh which like i said since you asked me about coaching i will do that every time like hey, yep. this is how we play yep. this is how they play yep. this is what i want to see yeah but the locker room i mean not having a locker room you literally have to change there and go in your underwear in front of the public mm -hmm. so i'm like what's what's going on here you know but I, it's normal like yep. here it's like so that's why i'm like is it semi-pro? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, like you said, maybe, maybe, a, maybe a title. So there's a lot of players who are criticizing top players. We're, talk, we're speaking Ibrahimovic, Zlatan, you know, speaking the Messis. We speak, we're speaking the, the, um, the Roonies, the, the, Ronaldo, the Ronaldos. Nani. The Nani's. What are, what's your thoughts on the system? Because, every, you know, the system in the U.S. compared to the European system. Probably everywhere, everywhere, else, everywhere else that's not the U.S., where you have the relegation system in, in, in the U.S., you have the MLS, and you have the USL one, and the I mean, USL championships. And just, like, what's your thoughts on how the system works? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tough question, you know. Like, I, I think that um, I'd say, like, like, for, as a, like, to give you the short answer is that if I had a kid, I would not put him through soccer here. Really? Yeah. To the system here? Yeah. So the main thing that for me is, like, not even like an option is that I have to pay yeah. for my kids to play and stuff. Like I, I know some older people that like they have their kids like in good academies and they pay like you know two k per month, three k. I was like, what? Like you pay? Yeah. Usually you get paid, you know? Yeah, exactly. So in Italy, when when they're young, you pay a little bit, but we're talking about two hundred bucks and stuff like yeah. at the start. Yeah. So for nine months you're covered. You know, they give you like the 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 hoodie and you know the the whatever the jacket yep, yep, and you're yep. fine all the gear yeah you know, and that's so it. i feel like i mean that's what ibrahimovic the whole scandal of ibrahimovic was like you know i'm not gonna have i'm not gonna pay 6k per month to have my two kids play and i'm even thinking like that's ibrahimovic that has is a millionaire like how would i put my two kids with 6k per month like i don't have them man and even if i'll have them i mean especially i mean think if you're making a good salary let's say 15k per month yep. 6k that that takes like one so third a, a of good, it like just for them it. to play yeah so i think it's um it's unfair in a way where like then who's rich can have better opportunities and better schooling. And then, you know, like if you're actually good, but you're poor, you're going to have to do like so many steps, so you know, many hurdles. You got to yeah. have to jump. Cause I was seeing this, um, I was seeing this tournament. I think it's uh, MLS next or MLSU, whatever. Yep. Uh, and I was seeing this guy like, uh, Barcelona. I was like, Oh, Barcelona came here, but it's actually like a Barcelona Academy, Academy in the States. Attachment. Yeah. So it's like, and that's and I was looking I was looking at the website. That's expensive, man. You know, would I have my kid have been Barcelona and wear the bar? Of course. I mean, that's an amazing experience, but it's paying for it. I don't know even if I don't even know if you then gonna be proud. Like you know, exactly. If, then, if you if I did that and then you're gonna ask me, oh, you played at Barcelona when I was young? Yeah, I mean, I paid. Yep. Um. So I think it's a it's a, it's a long journey, man. Yep. I really think it's a long journey. I also think that I speak with this with a big friend of mine. He's a big Messi fan. Yeah. 
And he was like, yeah, you know, since Messi came, the soccer is changed. I'm like, I don't agree. I think oh, since okay. Messi came, like then more people are watching because of Messi. They're watching Messi. More South Americans, you know, feel close to Messi. Super understandable. I will go watch Messi, you know. But what about the academies? Are they changing? I don't think so. I mean, I went to see most of, like uh, two, three academies. They're all Americans, you know, like it's not like changing. Like uh, there's more players that come. There's more money, you know, like there's things going around. So the attention, the business towards it is growing. But do I think that like if my kid right now would go to like an academy would be like, oh, that's Italy level? No, I don't yeah. think so. And, 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 you think, and you think that that is um, part of the reason why, you know, development in the U.S. and, and the growth of the game is, is being hindered? 100%. I mean, like w w in my semi-pro team, I see how like these 18 years old, like if they miss, uh, if they miss like um, – I had, I, I, need, I had to have a, a talk with my coach for this because if they miss a, a, a ball, like I said, they, r they run back. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you doing? Like, and like, but for me, it's positive intensity, of course. I'm not going to be screaming to the guy. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, he, he told me like after the first week, he's like, you know, some some guys, they never go scream that. Uh, so like, you know, they don't know, they don't know how to take it. But, but he was like, we want you to keep this European. I was like, what? I mean, in Italy, when you go to the first team, you're usually 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Man, it's tough. It's a tough time because, of course, you're already like scared about like, oh, we play with 35 years old. I think the main difference of the development is that, especially at that age, is that in Italy, 17 years old, I was in the first team, whatever, like with people that if I, let's say, if we don't score, they're not going to have the bonus check. They're not going to, like, they have a paycheck, you know, for how they play. So you're already like in a high level of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But here, you know, like you play high school, everything is fine. You know, like you play uh, UPSL, oh, it's okay. You know, like we're all... So you don't have that. You need pressure, man, to yeah. grow. You, yep. you really need pressure. Like yep, when you're absolutely. poor, why you grow? Because you have pressure to make money. That's true. You know, when you when you have a podcast, you want good because like now you have, you know, people that are relying on you. Yep. Same with soccer. Like, you know, you, have, you need to have pressure to grow because like that's what makes you a good. Like, and, then, and that's why like everybody like in my team, they're like, why well, are so calm? I'm like, man, I played, you know, in more pressure than this. So for me, this is a little bit slower absolutely. pace, you know? Absolutely. So pressure, pressure, pressure. Yep. yep. I think every every successful person was driven by the pressure, you know, like like we, we only exceed our expectations and we, and we only get out of our comfort zone when we feel that pressure. I also think that like the, the parents here are a little bit different. Um, I see that like like in Italy, if a guy scores and he goes out to his dad, uh, his dad is going to be like, okay, we should have scored two. <laughs> That's the mentality, yep. you know. Here, when they lose 6-0, they're like, Brian, you did so <laughs> good. I'm like, Dude, be good. I don't know if that's yeah, good. Give the whole team cookies and you know ice yes. cream. Yes, I, I know. I I was I was I was really noticing that, and it's like I'm, sometimes you just have to be like you have to yep. be better next yep. time. You know, like yep. if you want to. I don't know. Absolutely. So it's tougher. What about the 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 system in terms of you know you have the MLS and then you don't really have any relegation. So it's the same team stay in the league. You know there there isn't there isn't really an incentive to do good that apart from you know making more money and, and filling the seats up. You know, is there and 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 in the the European system and probably every other system apart from the U.S. you have the relegation system. If you don't do well, you get relegated. Is is, is there is there anything any thoughts on that? And well, I think about it once again. Pressure. You don't have any pressure. Like you can you can be the last one and like and you're and you're chilling. Of course, then I mean all these drafts. You know, you yep, you, yep. you have to move a lot around. I follow a pro player. Like I I know him and he's like I mean it's a hard life because even like at 33 years old, moving every year. I don't know. I mean, you have a kid. He has to change school every time. That's a tough life. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, even the fact that it's just like the college already is like that. Like, you're NIA, and you're like, oh, you know, we're NIA. But if we get an investor and we make a stadium, then we can go D1. So, right, you're D1 just because, you know, like, the, the, so it, yeah, it's the, a the whole money. business, man. Like, in, in Italy, like, wow. I mean, if whenever you, like, you, you go relegated, like, you know, even if it's the lowest league, like that's a funeral, you know, like, you're like, wow. Yep. And so it gives you that pressure of like, oh, we have that team that is four points more than us. If we lose, then we are more. Yep. Um, I think that's the whole difference about, about, about this. I don't, I can see how then, that's why it's so hard, man, yep. in my opinion. But it's like, imagine if then Portland Timbers go play a USL championship team with like, a, I don't know, the stadiums are so different. Like, you know, Portland teams, I don't know, can hold 50,000 people. And then you go to USL Championship and can hold, I don't know, 10K, 8K. So it's a, it's a different... It's a business, dif man. It's a business, man, yeah. How can a player outshine everyone in a team? Yeah, so I feel like the, the first thing, and that's what I literally suggest to my... I, I'm basically like a coach in this team, I have to be honest, because there's, they're very young. Yep. And, you know, sometimes... I, I love that, you know, sometimes they reach out to me, they ask me, you know, uh, what's the difference with Italy? How can I improve? 
I think the main thing is, is like if let's say you don't have any skills, like you're you're the worst player in the team, mm -hmm. um, which is hard, and you don't you need to remove your ego. That, that would have been that would have been hard for me, for example. But it's like you're there and you're a team player, right? So you you still come to practice and you're like you know you emphasize like the good things about the other players. Yeah, yeah. The second thing, which I appreciated by a teammate a lot, is like asking questions. Hey, Giacomo, how you do that turn? And I'm like, you do it this way. I was like, oh, it's hard. I was like, okay, this is what you have to do to practice, you know? And, and you get you gain knowledge, 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 knowledge. Yep. Uh, and the same in business is the same, you know? Absolutely. Uh, and the, the third thing kind of requires you to be a little bit better because you want to have the, I'd say, leverage to be able to talk, yep. is that to become a leader. Ah. So it's not like I just like, I'm good, I score, but it's like, come on, man, like yep. next one. Like, yep. And that's what I'm kind of doing in this team. Yep. Uh, and that really puts you like on another level because then it's like, wow, this guy not only plays for us, but you can see the passion, like he really wants exactly. to be here. Yep, he's going to um, be above and beyond. I mean, I feel like integrity and composure like uh, are so, so, so like big things. Like, you know, if you watch Xavi, Iniesta, like, you know, they were like people that like always train Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, they always train, then they're good in the team and they help the team to yep. be cohesive. Yep. And, but that requires so much more energy, you know, yeah. It to, does. To, to be there. It does, yep. Okay, last question. What is the real chance of making it pro in the U.S.? Well, that, that question that you have to separate in two. If you're American, if you're not American. Let, let's, let's speak non-American first. Not American. Very hard. In Why? my opinion, it's very, very hard because, um, I mean, first of all, they're coming from the top to the bottom. American teams, MLS, uh, you know, they have like a, a selected number of international spots. So whenever like a guy, let's say like you shine everybody in D1 and they want to take you, they're still always going to have the risk of like more money because then they have to sponsor your visa, like, you know, make all the papers. Mm -hmm. But second of all, they're like, why would they, why would they invest on an 18 years old that did good, but in college rather than going to South America, Italy, Spain, get a 33 years old that like, you know, has been playing awesome his whole career and they have a good spot. Yep. So very tough. And, and literally every, every player that I know, uh, didn't didn't last long. Yep. Like they made it pro one two years, but they didn't out. really make it. Yeah, it didn't, so very very tough. And I know stories about players that wanted to be, uh, like they were sicked from like yep. teams. Yep. But then they were like, you know, you're international. That's gonna be hard, and didn't go through. Mm -hmm. If you're American, I think that like, uh, th I mean, it's a whole system. So for me, like, I, I didn't have these thoughts because in Italy is different. But if I was American and young American, yep. Yep. complete emphasis on go to a D1, complete, um, and just like you know like. Like take a, if you had the money, take like a one-on-one coach, like, you know, just do like, you know, skills, skills, skills. Um, and if you don't have the money, just go on the field and like really hold yourself accountable. Get like, you know, a smartwatch, like, you know, running, like be on those times. Right now I'm, I'm trying this new one from Garmin because okay. the Apple watch was just not like, was not like uh, perfect for me. I was like, I need someone that really tell me. Yep. So this one, like for example, like tells me like, you know, my sleep, my stress. Ah. Like, oh, okay, uh, so like, it's very, okay, yeah. very detailed. Yeah, like my sleep score, like, you know, my steps, heart rate. I was like, I want that, you know, so, uh, and I'm testing it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, from D1, then you know, like, if you perform, I think you have good opportunities to Interesting. go. Interesting, okay. What is a very popular question that you know, people are, are asking you in your in your DMs, and then I would like you to answer that as our closing. Oh, one of my one of my, my popular, I mean, aside of the community college, which yeah, are really yeah. like uh, because that was a very kind of like, I'd say, uh, black spot on my story. Uh, the people are like, why? Um, I'd say um, that every, everyone's asking I, you, and you, I you think know. it's like the, the the best teaching of this experience. You know, like why why would you not go back to Italy? Like you know, you go back to Italy, you you make more money, you yep. make more everything. Yep. Yep. And um, I think the best teaching that I had from this experience was that there are just like some moments when you're like you know you're in pain, you're suffering that teach you stuff that if you're just not outside your comfort zone, you're never gonna learn. Like if I was to stay in Italy and never experience college for how like traumatic injuries and like you know heartbreaking of becoming a pro whatever it was i would not be as close like i really like whenever me and my girlfriend or like friends speak they always tell me like dude you look like you sound 35 you sound 40 because i just experienced that loneliness like i mean i've been lonely for five years like now i have a girlfriend but for five years you know i was lonely in my, to grow up, in my dorm uh suffering you know so there's just like so much uh growth that you can do and in my, in my opinion like i mean you only live one life and if you have those years to risk it, I think you should risk it. Then you have time to go back, uh, be more in the comfort zone, whatever. So I feel like there's some teaching in pain that are just like are just there that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So surely it was worth it, even through like you know not playing, injured, whatever, an experience that I will redo 100%. Beautiful.
Giacomo Semitali, everybody. Giacomo, man, it's, it was another honor having you on this. It was a pleasure. This, Thank this you. Podcast, man. You know, like we're we're over. Let's not make it like we're not gonna see each other every week now. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> we, you know, I think this hour passed by really, really quick, man. You yeah, know, honestly, it's, it's yes. always a pleasure just just coming in and this this chat, just chopping it up with you, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully, hope that I can help. Honestly, that, that that's my main thing. Hope that someone can see the value and say like. Wow, you didn't think about that. Like, I never thought about it. Yeah, man, the first the first video is at 1.2K views. One of our like top, easily top five, probably top three videos right now, man. So thank you so much for, for, sure, man. for you know, coming again and, and, and blessing us with, with, your, with your presence. Hopefully, you know, we get to do it do it again. And hopefully the next time you'll be you'll be a coach. Either a coach knows. or a pro. Well, I don't coach know. or a pro. <laughs> so, so we're going to have some more to, to talk about, you know, later in the future. But man, 100%. it's been an honor having you on. And thank you very much, guys. Thank you so I appreciate much. it. Yes.